years, Japanese designers Squaresoft have turned the creation of computer-generated cutscenes into something of an art form. Their Final Fantasy games are famously punctuated by some of the most incredible FMV ever seen. As a result, the games have been given an almost movie-like quality, leading to an obvious progression. You okay? This is Final Fantasy The Spirits Within, a big-budget movie inspired by the video games and rendered entirely by computers. But unlike the cartoonish charms of Toy Story and Ants, this movie has a level of detail like no other computer-generated film before it. So I gather this will be somewhat of a rough ride. The film's director is Hironobu Sakaguchi, creator of the Final Fantasy series. The movie is a result of his desire to see a collaboration between his Squaresoft artists and their American counterparts. We opened a game studio in LA five years ago where we worked together with many Hollywood studio artists. That was also the time when we were just starting to make Final Fantasy VII in Japan. That's when I envisioned having the artist I met in L.A. and the talented staff in Japan working together in the same studio, working together on a major project. The quality of the resulting work was enough to secure the involvement of a whole host of Hollywood stars eager to lend their vocal talents. The advantages of portraying an entirely computer-generated character obviously weren't lost on some. Good news is that I don't have to look like Grey in any way, you know. They draw Grey, you know, and they animate Grey, and they computer-generate Grey, and they can make Grey perfect in every way that I'm not perfect. But while he may joke now, it's entirely possible that this new breed of synthetic actors could eventually put Mr. Baldwin and his fellow thespians out of a job. Our digital actors don't age, of course, and since they're computer-generated, we can make them younger or older as desired. Using digital actors may eliminate restrictions on stories or perhaps lead to completely unexpected scenarios in the movies of the future. Until then, this movie is totally unique. It doesn't even borrow characters or storylines from the best-selling games which share its name. Every sequel of Final Fantasy series have different uh, characters, different background, different story setting. But um, the underlying theme of uh, life, spirits, love, you know, all those, the, the basic message that Sakaguchi puts into every one of his Final Fantasy sequels, I think it's there in, in, in our feature film. So while the movie has a distinctive Final Fantasy flavor, no knowledge of the games is required to enjoy it. I just think it'll be a terrific movie. I think it'll be a, a real crowd pleaser. Those Final Fantasy fans will love it, but I think it'll go out way beyond that. I think people who don't even know about Final Fantasy will say, oh, this movie's great, I want to see it. The faces in the games may keep changing, but Squaresoft's desire to top their previous efforts stays the same. And with the experience and skills acquired during the production of this movie, the next installments of the Final Fantasy video games could be the most visually stunning yet.